All right, Ricky uh, Butterworth, or it might be Cindy Butterworth, says, where do you stand on the great reset the Liberals are planning on introducing? Well, I, I, let me just say that, first of all, what is this great reset? Uh, the, uh, Pierre Polyev, the federal conservative finance critic, recently raised concerns about this, and then he was attacked by some in the media and by the Liberals for supposedly circulating conspiracy theories. Well, The Great Reset is actually the name of a book by a very prominent advocate of it. It's, his name is Klaus Schwab. He sent me a copy. I guess he sent one to every, probably every government leader around the world. And Klaus Schwab's uh, thesis in his book is that uh, we should, governments and societies, the world, should, quotes, seize the opportunity of the public health and economic crisis to reimagine the world and radically change policies. Now, in what ways? I would describe it as a grab bag of left-wing ideas for less freedom and more government, for more government intervention, uh, for um, policies that would, uh, I think, create massive poverty, Uh, is particularly energy policy, uh, policies that he is advocating. So Klaus Schwab, by the way, is the president and founder of the World Economic Forum, also known as the Davos Summit. I call it the biggest gathering of global hypocrites uh, in history. It's, the, um, it's a little ski village in Switzerland, and every, I think, February, um, a, a couple of thousand v super rich uh, people Uh, a lot of billionaires, millionaires, global CEOs, and politicians fly into Davos men, with hundreds of private airplanes. They go into Switzerland and they spend a week basically lecturing uh, the rest of the world, including especially working women and men, about how they should reduce their carbon footprint. Uh, uh, the hypocrisy in that crowd is, is so uh, thick you can't even cut it with a knife. And so, no, I'm not going to be taking any... Uh, policy direction from Klaus Schwab or his, his ilk. But, and what I find offensive, look, the so-called Great Reset is not a conspiracy theory. It is a actual set of, of concrete proposals being advocated by some very influential people and including apparently by Prime Minister Trudeau who clearly alluded to it, referred to it, quoted from it the Schwab theory uh, in a speech he gave to the United Nations a couple of months ago. So it's not a conspiracy theory to talk about that. Those are the folks advocating it. And I think it's perfectly legitimate for democratically elected leaders for me to say, heck no, we're not going to exploit or take, the, uh, take advantage of a crisis to uh, advance a political agenda. If, if we're actually all in this together, like we keep saying, then how about we focus on the crisis, on protecting lives and livelihoods, helping people get through this, uh, and, and how about after that, instead of exploiting the crisis to impose on democratic societies a whole bunch of social, failed socialist policy ideas, how about instead we get refocused on generating economic growth, on, on recreating some of the trillions of dollars of wealth that will have been destroyed, of restarting some of the hundreds of thousands of businesses that will have gone under, of obsessively focusing on getting the millions, uh, 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 the tens of millions around the world back to work. Those who have suffered most in the COVID era have been the poorest around the world. And so the notion that we would then drive them further into energy poverty through uh, Klaus Schwab's policy uh, agenda is, I, I just frank, frankly find it offensive. So no, it's not a conspiracy and nor is it a conspiracy theory. I think it's just uh, very um, distasteful and regrettable that influential people would explicitly seek to take advantage of a crisis like this to advance their own political uh, vision and values.